Hello guys, I'm Mitch Green and this is my personal passive income adventure. In this video we will talk about getting started with passive income. If you haven't seen my first video yet, go see it where I explain all about the Mitch Green project. Link in the description. Okay, today we will prepare the first investments. Decide which area we will invest in in the next six months. Do some calculations and setting up our final goal. And with that I will say welcome to the Mitch Green project. At the moment I still have zero passive income, but that will change, because if you remember, Michael said this. I pay Mitch $1400 each month. And you know what? It's soon payday. I think I will spend all of them on toilet paper. See you on eBay. Okay, jokes aside. All my professional life I've learned that starting a project without a goal is a dead project. The end goal for me is to retire and have completely financial freedom, do with my time whatever I want. So what do I need to achieve this? The question is how much money do I need to achieve financial freedom? The answer to this question is always individual. It depends if you want to live in luxury or you just want to get by. Me personally. I don't need to be rich. I don't care driving a fancy car. So right now, based on my current income, I will say 55,000 American dollars before tax will do just fine for me. Beware that this number can be very individual, uh, depending on the country you live in, how much expenses you have and how expensive it is to live in your country. So right now I have a goal, which is 55,000 American dollars each year in passive income then I can retire and do whatever I want. So let's pretend the $1,400 I get from Michael go to a bank account instead of stocks and let's see how far that will get me. So we have the $1,400 times the 12th month. That will give me $16,800 each year in savings. I want to save up for 20 years. So that's 16,800 times 20. That will give me $336,000 in 20 years on my saving account. And what I wanted was $55,000 each year. If I divide the $336,000 with the $55,000 I wanted each year, I have savings for around 6 years. This is not good enough. And because of inflation, all the savings you have now will be worth less in 20 years. You can get less value of that money. Let's say I invest the money in stocks instead. So I invest the 1400 I get from Michael each month, which is still the $16,800 each year. And I expect on average they will increase by 7% each year. Basically, this is a way more advanced formula, which looked like this. Even though I'm a math geek, I will not bore you with math today. But what I will say is, instead of a linear formula, we will get exponential growth. Let me show you down at the computer. Okay guys, welcome down to the computer. Um, this is a website I use called smartasset.com. Um, which have an investment calculator. You can use this investment calculator instead of doing all the math yourself. This is way easier. So this investment calculator have some inputs. Here you have a starting amount, additional contribution. You can choose the rate, rate of return and years to grow. So this calculator can get zero in the starting amount. Minimum is $100. So just put in $100 and you have an offset of $100, which really doesn't matter. Okay, so I will contribute with $1,400 each month and I expect, uh, expect a rate of return uh, with 7% over 20 years. Good. So then you get this graphical interface um, where the colors I is explained out here. You see here that there ex actually is an offset. I wanted to go to 2040, so I have to change this to 21 instead. And you see it updates nicely. Okay, 
So we have a starting amount which is the hundred dollars. We just have to subtract them from the total amount if you start from zero. Um, the green is the total contribution. Um, so it means the money I actually invested myself and the yellow is the total interest earned which means the passive income. And as you see here the total contribution over the 20 years is lower than the total interest earned. So you look here I will earn in 20 years if everything goes as it as expected, I will earn more than I contributed with. This is called compound interest. So it's actually not interest because it's it's with stocks, but it's still the same principle. Um, and then you get year after year how your money ha have grown. So of course you cannot expect your money will grow with 7%, sometimes it can be lower, sometimes it can be, be higher, it can also be negative. Um, so you have to go hope for the average. Um, so, okay, so I told you about if you just went for saving all the money in an account. This is the green, the money I put in. So as you see, they go in a linear curve down here. We contribute with the same amount each year and then we add it to the past year. Linear all the way up. But instead we have the yellow here because we earn interest. 7% of the last year's total amount. Which means the 7% you earned last year plus the contribution and this will keep adding up so instead of the linear growth you will have exponential growth I hope you can imagine the line here but it's a exponential growth which means you get a lot more money than the linear growth and uh, you see in 20 years I actually earn more than I contributed with just with being persistent and doing the same with a bit of luck that the 7% of interest rate holds. This is not a guarantee but if you can keep it this going you will be good to go. Let's see here in 2040 yes we will have interest earned over fifty thousand dollars each year just by having the money standing there and do nothing that's very very close to my goal okay so you see clearly in the end of the graph that we will have earned more in money growth than we have invested in total so on the graph in 2040 we will earn fifty three thousand three hundred dollars each year in passive income. This is extremely close to our goal and the rest of the passive income we have to find elsewhere. So to find the last $1,700 I have bought this book called Freedom Passive Income. There is 23 passive income ideas and we are going to go through all of them on this channel to see if we can generate the last money we need to reach our goal. So please keep following along, we have a lot of work to do. Now I will introduce to you my investor hat. This one. It's from my favorite band, The Artist Murder, which is a deathcore band. Check it out if you're into deathcore. So the idea is that each month we will draw from this investment hat a business area. I will put down six totally different business areas right now. Building. Software, finance, energy, transportation, and medicine. So now we have six different business areas in this hat. And as you see, they're all in there. And this is the areas we will invest in in the next six months. Okay, so let's take a moment here. 
when you need to invest your money, you need a platform or a broker. So I will personally use something called Nornet, which is, I think it's a Nordic broker, but you have to find your own like Robinhood, eToro and Plus500. Do your own research to find a broker that fits you. It's probably individual and I, I think there's a lot of content on, online. Guys, do your own research for which broker you want to use. There are cons and pros with all of them. So whatever fits you the best, choose that one and just get started. Okay, so let's start draw our first business from the head. Software. Cool, so now we have a business area. The next video will be all about where we will put the first investment and why. See you next time guys. Peace.